And now for a closer look at the debate, we have uh, Bob Cusack, editor-in-chief from our partners at The Hill. Bob, thanks so much for being here. Hey, Natasha. Crime, a major issue, of course, not just in Pennsylvania, but in elections across America right now. And we know Republicans have spent almost $50 million on ads criticizing Democrats as soft on crime. Do you believe this is a winning strategy? I think it is for Republicans. It's a huge polling issue right now. And, and, and usually in elections, crime is not in the top five. But depending on where you poll, uh, it's certainly a top five, if not a top three issue, uh, maybe just behind the economy overall. But I, I do think this is a very good strategy for Republicans. I'm not surprised that they're spending money here because polls show that people are on edge because of those terrible rising uh, crime statistics. How do Democrats defend against those attacks? It's a tricky one, uh, especially if you embrace to defund the police. And we've seen a Democratic Party, and a really, really poor slogan. Democrats uh, acknowledge that themselves. You can reform the police, but defunding the police was a political loser. And I've seen President Biden and other Democrats back away from that. But they're not going to win points on this. They're only going to seek to deflect criticism. That's the best they can do because they were so out in front. Uh, uh, not everybody, but a lot of Democrats saying defunding the police. Right. And, and let's pivot now to the Florida governor's race quickly. There was an interesting moment during last night's debate. Charlie Crist pressed Ron DeSantis on if he would serve a full four-year term. Let's listen to that together. You're running for governor. Why don't you look in the eyes of the people of the state of Florida and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four-year term as governor. Yes or no? Yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four-year term if you're reelected governor of Florida? It's not a tough question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. We did not agree on the candidates asking. So how do you think voters are reacting to that moment? You know, I, I think it was a very good, effective strategy, very simple question, straightforward, and, and, and a valid question without a doubt, especially when you have someone like DeSantis, and there are others in this who are up for re-election this year who might run for president in 2024. I think DeSantis should have been ready for that question. And, you know, I also think this question is not going to go away. We're still two weeks out, so reporters are going to be pressing uh, the governor to answer that question. All right, Bob Cusack, certainly appreciate the context. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.